Well, if the government wants and if all political parties want, they can do a lot. I mean, naturally, people like us feel that there should be no blasphemy law because it has been thoroughly misused and it doesn't produce the results that it is, give, it is meant to in any event. It doesn't glorify the name of religion or the name of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. On the contrary, people have used that. And I think that by itself, if you look at it, it's indirectly defaming religion itself. Uh, well, if the government and the opposition and other parties agree, uh, they can actually dilute the law. Uh, there are various ways of doing it. And lawyers and legal draftsmen can easily do it for you. First of all, not to have uh, death penalty as a mandatory death penalty, because that by itself, uh, you know, puts the court in a dilemma. Because either you give them death or you give them nothing. And if you give them nothing, then you are under a lot of pressure from uh, the kind of uh, fanatical forces that we have here. And uh, then the only option is to give death. Uh, secondly, I think that misuse of the law has also to be punished. And, in, and more than that, I think a law needs to be made where incitement to murder, incitement to violence in the name of religion or ethnicity must also be made punishable. And I'm not saying punishable by death, but it should be made punishable so that people don't, uh, with impunity, threaten others, incite others. If you see now even, uh, you know, writers in newspapers have started to do that and no action is ever taken against them. It is very difficult and it will get more and more difficult because uh, militancy has increased and I'm afraid that there was much talk and no action. Um, I believe that these things have to be done with very delicate hands. Uh, it's not uh, to be you know, talked about and, and to prove a point. Uh, if one was to prove a point, uh, then it's not worth it having people killed to prove a point. Uh, but I, I think that it can be done and political parties can do it once they have the strength within themselves and they find that they're in a position. So I believe that there has to be a timing. But even, uh, even without changing the law, uh, I think the government can do many things by training their police officers of how to deal with it. And I think courts need to be also sensitized about the issue. Courts are very scared when cases like this come in front of them because they then to get over their own fear, they, bear, they you know, sort of are more inclined towards punishment rather than giving benefit of doubt. Well, if you think that judicial activism will get rid of blasphemy law. I think you have far more uh, confidence in our courts than we do. You know, in one way it is very scary. I have never been scared of living in this country, even in the worst of times. I have never been scared going to jail. I have never been scared of being beaten up. But there is a kind of fear that is all pervasive here because the future is so uncertain. But at the same time, there are some very positive developments in the last five years. And that hasn't come from governments, but it has come from people themselves. The maturity that people have shown, the way media has informed people, uh, the way people have taken ownership of their own lives and reacted to unfairness. I think all these things make a society and we've seen a lot of that in the last few years. So democracy has its dividends uh, despite poor governance.